Today we're testing the oldest myth in the fishing world. We've got two categories and we want to find out what actually matters the most expensive gear or expensive fishing lures. We have no budget for the expensive fishing gear today in this video. So to make this as expensive as possible, I brought my brand new $1,000 Japanese Daiwa fishing reel. The challenge, see which category actually catches the most fish. Will it be expensive gear and cheap lures or will it be cheap gear and expensive lures? Go ahead and drop your comments down in the comment section below, which category do you think is gonna be the best? Expensive gear, cheap lures, cheap lures or expensive gear. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back over here to the Fishing with Yak Pack YouTube channel. Before we get started, make sure you guys like this video and subscribe. We are on the road to half a million subscribers by the end of the year. Now, to help us choose who gets to fish with what category, April here has a fun little, some kind of game, something that she would dine to try and she's been wanting us to do. So please show me the way, because I'm excited to see, am I going to be fishing with the expensive gear and the cheap lures or am I going to have the cheap lures, expensive gear. Which one's Trey gonna get? I just don't know. So, okay, you have cotton candy. She has cotton candy here. What do we got going on? We have cotton candy in this cup. Okay, is it really cotton candy though? Yeah. It is in fact cotton candy. They have a water. Okay. I'm gonna sit in rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Whoever wins gets to pick a cup and pour the water in here. Dissolve the cotton candy and it'll reveal what you get for the day. The the gear we get to pick is in the cotton candy. Yeah. This is interesting. A little Rochambeau, rock, paper, scissors. All right, first one. That's it. No do-overs, no two out of three, no nothing. Look away. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Ready? All right, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, ho, ho, ho. all right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. What does that mean? That means I win. Let's go. Even though you've won, okay. rock, paper, scissors, okay. you might not get what you want. That's true. That is also true. Yeah. Okay, so I'm 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 undefeated right now with the rock paper scissors. Now I just got to make sure I'm undefeated in this. The witch cup. That one. I would do I any, mini, mini, mo. I want this one. You That's the one, one I want. That's okay. the one I want. Okay. Oh, there's a card inside of the cup. Okay, that's interesting. Do you want me to pour the water, or you want to pour it? You do the honors. We're gonna waste the water. <laughs> it's 105 degrees out here. Oh, it dissolves like that. Oh, let's go. Oh, baby, Trey. <laughs> expensive gear, cheap lures. Actually, no, wait. I kind of feel like I wanted the expensive lures and the cheap gear. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> I screwed myself. All right, expensive gear, cheap lures for me. Cheap gear, expensive lures for Trey. Now, let's get into Bass Pro and go buy what we need to catch as many fish as we possibly can today. All right, ladies and gents, we're here now on Bass Pro, and since I dissolved some cotton candy and ended up with the expensive gear and the cheap lures, I don't need a fishing reel, because like I said, I've got that $1,000 dial in the truck. So I'm gonna go ahead and go first, get mine out of the way a little bit quicker. So starting off, $50 rods, $80 rods. We want something way more expensive than that. Hmm, $89, no. I know Bass Pro's got something more expensive than that. 119, what is this? Oh my gosh, that's a, a silver. You ever use that, Trey? See, that rod is mega light. Hold that. Feel that. <laughs> you break it, you buy it. Look at that. 119, though. Not going to cut it. I guarantee you there's a more expensive rod in here than $119. There has to be. 29. 59. Ooh, 199. No. Seven foot one. That's a spinning rod. Six foot nine, medium heavy. Johnny Moore's Platinum Signature. $199. This is, in fact, the most expensive bait casting rod that I found today. So, <laughs> it is what it is. I'll tell you what, though, that dollar is real. It's going to look real good on this rod. I promise you that. So, we got the rod. We got the reel. Now, we need to grab a few baits, more specific to hot, 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 super hot summertime fish. So, expensive gear, cheap baits for me. Let's get to looking. Okay, so speed worms off the reel. You've got the blazing worm for $6, the Yamamoto 7 inch for $8, the Zoom speed worms for $5.50. Oh, let's see. Yum. Yum. I didn't even know Yum made them worm like that. Have you ever used these, Trey? Nope. I was going to ask you if they were good, but... Okay, so 
Yum Thumping Dinger. Oh yeah, there you go, the Thumping Dinger, 349. Well, let's just hope Red Bug's a good color because this is the last pack on the shelf. You know, I always say something, actually. Here's a little bit of knowledge right here. If there's one pack of baits left on the, the shelf, chances are it's a pretty good bait because everybody's already bought that specific one. So with this being the last one on the shelf, I think it's gonna be good. Now, let's just continue on down the line and see Culprit 579, Bass Pro 429, what do we got here? Okay, these are worms. Ribbon tail worm, seven inch, okay, ribbon tail. That might not be a bad idea right there either. I don't really use ribbon tail worms that much. It's in that blue color though, Trey. And remember like a long time ago, you was cracking them. Where we're gonna be fishing today on the blue Slizzy Lizzy. <laughs> these things are gonna be gas. Okay, so 429, we'll put these back if we find some cheaper curly tail worms. But let's keep on moving. I'm trying to find the Senko section. Just like regular, just Senko worms. All right, Senkos. Bass Pro. You get 16 in a pack? God. 669. Yamamoto's, 769. Guggen, $6. Power Bait, $9. $9. And you get eight? What? Yum. There's some more yum. Okay. When did yum become the cheapest base? I could have swore it was Zoom just not too long ago. Okay. What is this? Uh, yum Dinger? Why do those look different than those? Okay, so black and blue. We'll just get a couple different colors. How about that? I think we should be good. We got green pumpkin and black and blue. Actually, what's the difference in these? Why do these look different? Yum Fog? Young Fog? Ooh. All right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put the, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna go um, June Bug. June Bug instead of Black and Blue. Because then June Bugs be June Bug in the summertime. All right, so we're legit not even at like $11 for bait yet, I don't feel like, maybe we are. My math is terrible, don't quote. Now, anyways, moving right along, I need a moving bait of some sort. So a moving bait and potentially a top water, though it is super hot. I have been able to catch fish here recently on top water, even in the super hot Floridian heat. All right, boys, last two items on the list. I've got a popper here for $4.99 and a chatterbait for $4.99 as well. So I am complete. I've got everything I need. Now, Trey, you're up next. Cheap gear, expensive lures. So everything that I bought or everything that you want to buy, just find the most expensive fishing lures you possibly can and spend my money. Because I know you love doing that just like I love spending Norm's money. Spending money is my favorite thing to do. So I got the cheap combo but expensive lures and there ain't nothing I like more than spending money. So I'm finna run these pockets. First up, none other. Oh, off the rip, $10 for a pack of worms. What color do we want? I guess they would be $10 after taxes, for real. Oh boy. Plum apple. Cha-ching. What do I want next? Oh, wait. $20 for two bags. Oh, the $10 after taxes, the $10 power baits. Gotta get some stinky worms. Oh God. Yeah, run them oh, pockets, man, this Trey. is gonna be really fun. Run I'm, them pockets. I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna take full advantage of having a hundred dollar combo and a hundred dollars in base to go with it. <laughs> $5.99, not expensive. Oh, wait a minute. Right here while we're at it. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh boys, we're, we're getting warm. Oh my God, that's so heavy. What is that? Oh, that's those $50. Yeah, that's those fifty dollar uh, X, not XPS. What are they? Turny specials. Turny specials. Yeah. Give it a little. What size you got there? Oh, that's a bendy boy. Why is it so bendy? We don't want one that bendy. Don't be so bendy. Ah, might be a little better. <laughs> What size you got there? I got a seven foot medium heavy. Oh, that's not bad. That's that's pretty pond well, standard. A little turny special. 50 bucks for a rod. Not too bad. Not my favorite, but it'll work. Oh. Just 
Just grab a jackhammer. I know you're going to do it. I can't even catch no fish. I'm not going to have a jackhammer. They don't have jackhammers for real? Oh, oh, actually, no. What are those? What are these? What are those? <gasps> what are those? Have you seen these? Z-Man Bass Pro Collab? What is that? Dude, that's gas. What is that? They don't have jackhammers for real. No joke. No, they really don't. I guess since they don't have a jack camera, I mean, I guess I'm going to go with this $8 chatterbait. Not even going to be able to catch no fish because I don't have a $20 chatterbait. Dang. Must be tough life, dude. That's all right, because I'm going to make up for it in the trailer. I'm going to buy the most expensive trailer I can find. And I have a, <laughs> and I have an idea of what it is. We just got to find it. You already know the deal. Zaco. Zaco's $15 chatterbait. Almost to jackhammer prices. A little storm blowing in this afternoon. It might get... That thing is, dude, I've not seen that before, and that thing looks really Look at that cool. color. Yeah, what color is it called, actually? Flamingo. Interesting color there. I like that. That's going to put a beat down on them. Yeah. All right. What no, else? no, no. I'm, I'm, no. Why are you trying to finish me? Yeah, because you're running my pockets. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to keep running. Oh, God. Wow. Is, there, is there a cheaper alternative to what that is, just in, in correlation? So if this is $12, $13 after taxes... There's uh, what would be the cheaper one, like three or four dollars? Yeah, but I'm definitely not getting that. No, of course. So they usually keep some pretty cheap reels right here. We're gonna take a look at this, and then I know another spot where they keep reels. Hmm. hmm. So you're gonna have to have a bait caster, clearly. Oh my goodness! Please don't be this. <laughs> oh my. No, that's four, that's forty nine, and there's another one right there for oh, oh, okay, forty nine ninety nine. Oh, that would have been tragic. <laughs> that would have really sucked for real. <laughs> forty nine ninety nine. Hmm. Looks like forty nine ninety nine is the price to beat right now. Let's go look over here. One. What's in this glass case? <laughs> Nothing in your price range, sir. <laughs> One fifty nine, one ninety nine, ninety nine. Ooh. Ooh, the proficiency still got to beat forty nine. Hmm. Oh, fifty nine. Fifty nine. That's not bad. Hmm. Not gonna beat forty nine. Well, that's very unfortunate because I don't want to take that reel out of the plastic case it comes in. <laughs> Mega cast it is. <laughs> yeah. Four bearing system with the blazing fast six six to one gear ratio. <laughs> That's tragic. With an impossible box to get into. Go me. <laughs> you did get all the expensive lures though. Yeah, I mean, I have a feeling this was going to cast further than the thousand dollar Dawa, and it actually fits in my hand. So That's I'm actually really happy I got this reel. Fair is fair. Last thing we got to do is get out to the truck, get everything rigged up, and then hit the water to go catch as many fish as we possibly can. This is a 1v1 type challenge. April's also going to be fishing in this video, but whoever catches the most fish wins. Let's go get rigged up, get on the water, and let's get to fishing. Pulsecarm was founded as a small family business in an Austrian village, and now they're the leading brand for wooden watches and natural jewelry. Pulsecarm has served and shipped more than 1 million customers worldwide. If you would have told me a watch could have been made out of wood and stone, I probably would have called you a liar until I seen this myself. Pulsecarm watches and jewelry are made of wood, stone, and mother of pearl, which still blows my mind to think that something made of wood and stone could be this high quality but i mean this thing is insane no matter what your passion is whether it's lifting weights in the gym whether it's working out outside or even running taking random adventures through the woods and even fishing the quality and craftsmanship of Holes Kern has you covered. I encourage you guys to check out Holes Kern. Link down in the description and in the pinned comment. You guys can use code YAKPACK15 to get a discount when purchasing something from the Holes Kern online store. Holes Kern offers free shipping to the United States and most European countries within two to five business days and no customs or extra fees on delivery. One of my favorite things about Holes Kern is they have a 24 month warranty 
and a 24 day right of return. So make sure you guys check out Hulse Kern, link down in the description, like I said, and in the pinned comment. If you guys choose to get something, use code YAKPAC15, save you some money. Thanks to Hulse Kern for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to the content. No way. First fish of the day is an absolute unit. On the Yamamoto Speedworm is not a giant. Let's get him back and see if we can't catch some more. Thanks for biting, buddy. Catch you next time. He trashed this worm. I missed like three fish right here. first fish on the turning special and mega cast combo i think this whole combo is under 100 bucks uh don't feel too bad so far this rod's definitely a little bit soft for this worm i'm not gonna lie oh i got a fish hello how's it going what's that i uh, just caught one he was tiny yeah that's Yeah. And, uh, stuff. Right. Really? I've caught some pretty decent fish in here over the years. Oh, yeah. yeah. Appreciate it. All right, boys, we are here now. We have a $200 fishing rod, a $1,000 Japanese Daiwa fishing reel, and April has a fan. Hold on, let me show y'all. Oh, she got, she got, a, she said she had to show her fans. Turn it on. Okay. Then you spritz yourself. Oh my gosh. That's so extra. Don't ask for no spritz, because you should have got you one. Okay, yeah, I should have got me one. All right, we're going to work our way over here to the first little pond. I'm going to kind of try to get it dialed in real quick because uh, I did take this video, or this video, I did take this real creek fishing the other day and did really good with it, but I've, I've not actually like had the opportunity to fish with it like in, in a setting like this. So I'm super excited. Hopefully we can get on them real good today. April's got, what do you got? You got the whole Guggen combo, don't you? Yeah, yeah the, the gold bait caster and the black series rod. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully we'll do good. And Trey is making his way to wherever Trey is going to make his way to. All right, first lure we're going to be using today. We've got the Red Bug, three dollar and forty nine cent Yum Dinger Swimmer Swim Dinger. I think it's called the Swim Dinger. Swim Dinger. I think it's called the Swim Dinger. Yeah. Oh, swim Dinger. Right. Also, I have not fully uh, been able to understand how this reel works quite yet. I think that's. Just saying, a bunch of little baby fishes. Which means I think that's max setting. They had their babies. I believe. We get a little pitch cast out here real quick, just to. Uh... Okay, not terrible. There's four different colors on this reel. You get like a blue light green red and yellow and i don't really know what each of them mean i think yellow is for if you're using braid uh blue is just the like setting in general like you would tighten the uh so that your spool tension knob and then i forgot what that other knob's called jeez dj act like you fish for a living yeah god that's crazy So though this is a $200 rod, there's definitely something about this rod that I already can tell you that I'm really not a fan of. And that is the mega, mega tiny, very small line guides. Really not a huge fan of that, but we'll make do for now. It's a fun fact about this reel, it actually like, like takes like mental notes of your cast 
and everything and it like dials in to like your fishing style it's really crazy all right boys i switched up we've got the little dinger on and um oh my gosh oh, is that a fish that is dang sure a fish bro what the heck i just scared a bass away like a like a three pounder what the heck anyways like i was saying i've got the uh the yum dinger on right now in the june bug color i switched from the red bug so we'll see if june bug works if not you know we got a few other options i got that top water uh, i got a chatterbait which i don't know if they'll eat a chatterbait right now for real it's a million trillion degrees out here but we're gonna see scared something right there Maybe when that storm comes in, in like an hour, it'll be, you know what I mean? Good or something, I don't know. Oh. Got him. Let's go, baby, let's go. I feel fit. Tick, tick, tick. <laughs> Fish number one for me on the super expensive combo, but the super cheap fishing lures. Fish number one for me on the super, super expensive combo, but the very cheap lures. You know, I just feel like it's really hard to beat a yum dinger. This is also my actually, actually, it's that hot out here. I can't even talk. Goodness gracious, TJ. This is the biggest fish that I've caught on this thousand dollar fishing reel. So uh, I think Norm and Trey both had one bigger than this on this reel, but super awesome to be out here on a 107 degree day in the middle of the summer, being able to catch fish like this. Very quality fish. It's a numbers game, not a size game. Number one, because we forgot the scale. And number two, because we probably would have broke the scale. But first fish for me, let's get him back. Let's go. I don't know, a little fun fact, I guess, about this rod. I didn't really feel that bite all that good. Like I felt the, like the, him pecking at it, but I didn't really feel it like all that good. I think I, oh, that is not a fish, TJ. That was definitely not a fish. Was it not? No, it just, I don't know. I didn't really feel the fish as good on this rod as I thought I would for a $200 fishing rod. And that also could be because it's a 6.9 medium heavy. I don't really, you know, let's try to catch a couple more fish before we pass any final judgment on this $200 rod. But I believe Norm actually has one of these rods. I think it's a 7.3 medium heavy or something like that. And I know that one's good. I've used that one before, but I've just never used the, uh, the six foot nine medium heavy version. God, I'm getting tore up. <laughs> We're getting destroyed by flies today, and I don't know why. No way. I literally just caught that fish and didn't even have him hooked. <laughs> Look. What? Look, that fish had the tail of my worm in his mouth and did not even get hooked, and I still caught him. That's insane. That was weird. That was definitely one of the weirdest catches I think I've ever had. Literally did not get hooked at all. Thanks though. See ya. What is up with all these babies out here? They must have spawned real good. Yeah, I think we should just give up and they'll come back tomorrow. You think so? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Really? Oh, another baby and he come off. Oh no. They're bonking this speed worm. Got another one. What is up with these tiny fish, man? Look at that. No way. He's literally the same size as the worm. I don't know what's up with these tiny fish. See ya. I got another one. He's tiny. He's literally so tiny. Oh, so tiny. One thing I've noticed is this reel seat is not locking this reel on here very solid. It's a little wobbly. That makes me nervous for whenever I actually do catch a good one. Well, boys, it's been rough. Just got off the phone with Trey. He says he's caught like between three and five. 
It's freaking hot. April's got her little, oh my God, you really got a little fan. Look how hot it is. I'm sweating through my hat. Like we haven't really been here that long. So we're going to make our way to the next little pond and keep on keeping on. Hopefully we can wax tray with the expensive gear in this Thank challenge. She's doing the most. Flies, flies, flies. I wonder why though. I've literally fished here a thousand times and never once had a fly issue like this. I hope it starts pouring down rain because I feel like that'll like just completely eliminate all the flies. Flies. Flythe? I think I said flythe. All the flythe. Pretty sure I also just had a fish right there pulling on my bait right where you just cast it. I'm also definitely considering giving this reel away after I use it a few more videos. Like, I just, I don't know. I feel like it'd be really cool to be able to give somebody that. It'd be insane. It'd be cool to give it away and see what they catch on it. See what? See what other people catch on it, using it. Yeah, that would be really, really cool. Yeah. If Trey is not fibbing, then he is waxing me right now. I've still got one fish and uh, he has three to five, he said. I don't know if he's joking though. He could also be just completely yanking the chain. You never know with Trey. Trey is a freaking hammer though. You know what? They just died this time. They died it? What? Oh, they did. Look at that. Look at that. That is bluey, blue, blue. Right there. So that ain't a fish right here. God, please, where are you at? All the rain, please come just pour down on me. Something is biting all in the over there. Biting? Do you not see the ripples that keeps coming up? Those little bitty teeny tiny ripples are bugs. Uh. You really getting your money's worth out of that. How much was that? $10. Oh, that's not bad. And you just put like water right in this little thing right here. You just. It's too funny. But if y'all leave in the comments, April is the best, I'll leak all Trey's secret fishing spots. <laughs> that would be <laughs> actually funny. All right, let me see. Oh, God. Y'all want the tourney holes? I got them. All right, boys, we moved to another pond. That pond was not it. They was all the same size. And it'd be okay if they was four or five pounds, but they was like four or five inches. We gotta find something a little bit bigger than those. We need at least a two pounder. I mean, come on now. That's not asking for too much. Hey Siri, call Ava. Hey. Hello. Uh, walk across the road and just follow this pond right here and you'll run into me. <laughs> oh man whenever the sun comes back out it'll feel good switched up to the third pond now and i made a switch from the cinco to the bass pro shops chatterbait with the zayco on the back of it ran through all of those gary yamamoto speed worms on tiny fish they're about one fish per bait if we're being realistic even though they're the most expensive they're really soft and they tear easy let's see what we can get to tear up this chatterbait looks pretty good vibrates good
Oh, not snot grass. Not snot grass. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. What do we have? Oh, let's go. No way. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We have a bicycle. Right in the bottom of the lip. Just barely come up and nipped it. Oh boys, let's go on the freaking chatterbait. All right, boys, finally caught a good one on that gray and pink and white chatterbait with the Zayco. All the fish I've caught before this one don't even weigh half. And this is a, this is a good fish for real, three and a half, four pounder. I was like, oh, snotgrass, snotgrass, snotgrass. And he ate it and I was like, oh, that's definitely not snotgrass. Super sick, good fish. Let's get him back, see if we can't catch another one. First good fish of the day, ate the chatterbait. I popped it out of some grass and slammed it. Probably about a three and a half, close to four pounder. Good fish. Let's get him back, see if we can't catch another one. Let's go. Oh, another one on the chatterbait. Let's go. Come here. Come here. Come here. Ooh, what do you got? Let's go. Another one on the chatterbait. Bite might be picking up a little bit. Let's see if we can catch some more. Thanks for playing, buddy. We will catch you next time. Oh, oh no. Oh. There we go. I knew he was gonna be there. Let's go. Yes, sir. I looked down and I seen the drain under the freaking, under the stuff. Yes, sir. Fish number two for me. Oh, boys. It has been uh, quite the day. <laughs> you got one? Well, I thought you had one too. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Small fish are better than no fish. But I seen the drain like poking out underneath all of that stuff right there on top of the water and also i don't know if you guys can tell through the video or not but they were just recently dyed this blue as you can see I mean, it's, if you can see it it's crazy but all right dude let's get you back let you go let you grow and hopefully catch you again when you weigh about eight pounds oh yes drain right there if you want to try that yeah long cast to it clean this off There's fish right there where right there and i'm about to cast at them look right there uh, okay Three of them. Good call, babe. Oh my God. Oh my God. That is absurd. You really freaking did that? Oh my gosh. Ow. Ow. Come here, dude. Another one on the June bug. I'll just cut myself too. That's not not what you want to do tj that wasn't very smart oh my gosh come here dude ow come here <laughs> dude daddy chill okay another one on the june bug sanko april literally called it she said there's a fish right there cast at it and boom three for me yes dude yes 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 getting in the zone baby getting in the zone don't call it a comeback yeah, see, they always think that you're helping me, but really, they don't see behind the scenes where I always tell y'all where the fish are. You be calling the shots? Yeah. <laughs> Who needs a Garmin when you've got an April? Yeah. April is my personal live scope. Good cast, good cast. I just missed another one. He freaking bent me up. Well, well, after catching some fish on this rod on a worm, catching some fish on this chatterbait, I will say it's definitely a better moving bait rod than it is a worm rod. It's a little soft. Um, it bends like super deep 
been super deep down in the blank. Good moving bait rod though, for sure. As for the reel, mm, I mean, it's all right. It ain't bad. Cast pretty good. Definitely not the worst reel I've ever fished with. Wish it was a little bit faster gear ratio. It's like a six, three to one, pretty slow. But other than that, not bad. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna bring this video to a close. Uh, I don't know what happened, but my mic came unplugged and on my camera anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video the cheap and uh cheap lures expensive gear expensive gear cheap lures i got a lot of comments in uh the comment section in previous videos talking about they want to you know you guys want to see me do that so i was like you know what let's crank it out uh overall thoughts for me on the red bass pro rod uh i would do a seven foot medium heavy or a seven three medium heavy i didn't really like the six nine medium heavy it just wasn't i don't know it was good, but it could have been better with at a, at a seven foot or seven foot three. Uh, and then the thousand dollar dial with bait caster is just absolutely insane. And uh, Trey's in the shower right now. We're actually getting ready to go to. Uh, I'm taking Trey to his first football game today, uh, and maybe you guys are watching. Actually, as this happens, we should be. If you guys are watching it on Saturday, we're at the Georgia game, so uh, that's cool. I'm kind of surprised Trey because he's been working really hard, uh, not only on this channel, but let's just say. Maybe there's a surprise coming for you guys soon uh, that's got to involve Trey. But anyways, I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Thanks for watching. Peace.